Welcome to the Bendigo Hospital. We're really delighted to give you a sneak preview into this wonderful project and some of the great new facilities that will be available for the community when this new hospital opens in early 2017. I hope you enjoy it and we're all looking forward to making this new service available to the community in early 2017. Hello and welcome to the new Bendigo Hospital. In this video, we are going to explore level two of the new facility, in particular, two different areas, psychiatry and intensive care. We start our tour by taking two flights of stairs which are located to the left as you enter the Mercy Street main entrance. Alternatively, the public lifts are located on the right as you come in. Here you are greeted at the main psychiatry reception and the view over the internal street is impressive. The colour palette throughout this department is inspired by the Mount Alexander region. We enter psychiatry and begin our journey in the parent-infant unit. A first for regional Victoria, this allows mothers who have given birth and may be suffering from mental health problems to remain with their child in a safe and home-like environment. Again, we see open and tranquil communal spaces, kitchens and courtyards with plenty of natural light. Further along, we are entering the adult area off to the left as we make our way right towards the older person's unit. All inpatient rooms throughout psychiatry are private singles with their own ensuite. They also have external views and vented windows to allow fresh air in. Psychiatry features an incredible array of natural light and courtyard areas, about 12 of these spaces in total. Some are gender-specific courtyards and others have barbecues, outdoor furniture, and exercise equipment. The entire psychiatry floor is designed to promote a calming and relaxing environment to assist in the treatment and healing process. As we make our way through extended care and across the discrete link bridge towards intensive care, although you cannot see it, we are actually walking over the top of the internal atrium. In the internal atrium are retail spaces, the main reception desk, cashier, amenities, public lifts and wayfinding kiosk. Once open, the wayfinding kiosk will be staffed by volunteers who will be able to assist you to find your way throughout the building. We enter ICU and make our way towards main intensive care area. Again, the colour palette has changed, this time to reflect the Campaspe region. Immediately, you can see how this space opens up to create a beautiful caring environment for some of our sickest patients. There are 20 intensive care rooms, an increase from 12 in the current facility. You will notice pendants coming from the ceiling. These accommodate medical gases and power outlets, all used in the treatment of patients. Each room has a window with a view over Drought Street, looking northwest across the city or over the internal gardens. Glass in each room can be pixelated for privacy or kept transparent to allow improved line of sight for clinicians. The family waiting area also incorporates a courtyard and has views of the internal gardens. We make our way along the intensive care unit before departing through the back stairwell. We're so proud to be able to showcase the new Bendigo Hospital to our community. It will give people of our region access to a world-class hospital right here in Bendigo. 